Hello, welcome back. So now we're going to take a deeper dive into the board of the uh, Screen Typer 3. Um, <coughs> so I've connected up some crocodile clips here, colour coded them. So we've got ground plus 5 plus 12 volts. I'm um, just going to have a quick probe around the board just to make sure that things look right from a continuity perspective. So uh, I need to put my magnifiers on because I can't see anything. Okay, let's have, let's have a look. So pick up some of this logic. That looks good. Yeah, that looks all right. So that looks reasonable for the ground. For, sorry, for the um, yeah, for the for the ground pin. Sorry, the ground pin's the other one. That's better. Yeah, sorry. Went the wrong thing. <laughs> Did it run the right way, which? So, yeah, the ground looks good. Yeah, will look good. If we connect up to 5 volts, that also looks good. So, yeah, happy with that. And if we are measuring down to ground, we should have more resistance. There we go. Yeah, okay, so that looks good. Um, in terms of the 12 volt, I would expect the 12 volt to probably, I'm not sure whether any of the chips use it, sometimes these uh, older um, memory chips or even some older EEPROMs, I haven't actually looked, can take 12, can sometimes take 12 volts. Um, right, so if we take this as a reference, so this is a power standard power supply connector for um, floppy drive. Now, I don't know which way around it is, but you see either of the outputs, the outer ones, are, are going to be um, 12 volts, either 12 volts or 5 volts. So if we take that one there, these are quite badly corroded, so I'm not sure it's even going to work. Okay, so that's 12 volts. Now, by extension, is the other side 5 volts? It is. So this is looking encouraging. Um, things, are, things are being logical. So if we take this and do the inner pins on there, that's ground. So yeah, I think that looks good. Now, I've got a big power supply here. It's actually a beast. It's, a, it's one I've used before. It's a PC XT power supply. So um, I'm not sure whether this is a good idea or not, <laughs> but caution to the wind. Let's go. So this is currently not powered up. So we're going to do 12 volts ground and 5 volts okay that. and what we're going to do is power that up notice here I've got the connection to the um, composite composite video so I'm going to re uh, rearrange all of the the camera so you can see it uh, so we want to see preferably a composite video output from it which is great um hopefully not magic smoke if there's a if there is magic smoke then we really need to see the magic smoke because it would be a shame if it goes up in glory we really want to see it so we'll be right back okay so we're ready for a power up so i guess i've just got to throw the switch and hope for the best um make sure that's nothing, nothing conductive under there that i can see it all looks fairly clean so I basically whoops plug it in and then unplug it if there's a problem I think it's actually switched off <sighs> okay I don't really want to touch that Ugh. <laughs> Let's try that again. That was a bit of an anticlimax. Okay, right, grab the seat. Whoa! Okay, well, something went bang. Um, yeah, okay. I wonder what went then. Something up here somewhere. Must be a short or something. Ah, is that capacitor that went? Oh yeah, it actually scored the desk. <laughs> that made me jump. Let's have a look down there, look. That one went, 
and yeah, immediately blew up. Wow. Oh, that smells. Okay. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. This has been in, goodness knows where, in storage or in a loft for a long, long time. So maybe it was asking a bit too much. But um, all the resistances, they seem to be fine. But it looks like that capacitor did not like it. Uh, yeah, this actually, yeah, it's bad. Oof. Wow. Okay, I'm going to do a bit more diagnostic on this and see what's what's happened. That went up well, I have to say. That's quite impressive. Um, right, I'm going to do some more investigation and uh, yeah, let's see what happened. So, following the fireworks, I did some investigation as to what actually happened and it wasn't that capacitor there is actually <laughs> as you can plainly see that one there and it was not happy so bits of it are there and um, yeah it's completely blown so have a look it's not a well bunny at all so it is C1, well, maybe it's logical. C1 is the first capacitor to go. Maybe the rest are, are to follow, who knows? But that's knackered, it's got to come out. I hope it's, sim it's simply a matter of it, um, uh, of it being a, an old unit that's just failed, rather than anything else more insidious. Well, there it is. That's what's left of it. Um, now, the question is, can we can we ascertain any writing on there? Not sure. Okay, what are these other ones rated at? Can we get a clue there? Forty-seven, I think it's forty-seven microfarad. Would that tally with this? STC, that's the only thing that's left. Trouble is, um, that bit is the other side. So where the writing is, is completely destroyed. <laughs> and there's a rather, have a look, rather dodgy looking stain on the desk there, which is the rest of the capacitor. So um, yeah, that's not going to be easy. Right, bear with me a sec. I'm just going to see if I can get a stronger magnifying glass. Right, so this is uh, another another power up. This time we're going to try it with uh, just the five volt. Now the the twelve volt um, decoupling uh, capacitor is no more; it has ceased to be. Uh, so we're going to try it just on the five volts, just to see whether there's any sync being generated for the uh, the video output. It's highly unlikely, but it's worth a try. Uh, and then afterwards we can have a, a bit of a poke around with my logic probe to see whether there's any, any other signs of life. So anyway, so I'm going to quickly, I mean, it's, <laughs> this might be a second bang in a row, but we'll have a go. So, okay, so that didn't do anything. Okay, well, it didn't go bang. That's good. So let's have a look at some signals on here. All right, so uh, let's assume, well, that should be such a simple board. Nothing, nothing too hot or stressed by that, by that five volts. So um, what I'm gonna do is just, 
so this logic probe i'm setting it to ttl and i'm sending it to pulse so there's pulse and memory so um it can be useful i don't know what the uh frequency of this is no idea so kind of a little bit playing it by ear but let's have a let's have a go whoops why not so if we find one of these um There's some signals. I'm going to put it onto memory actually because I want to be able to see the. Okay, let's pick up these, some of these memory. Well, there's some activity. Hmm. Okay, there's something going on there. Don't quite know what, but that's interesting. That looks like pulsed activity. Might have to look for an oscilloscope trace. I think nothing's getting hot. Right, okay. So I'm just gonna turn this off for a second. And I'm gonna see if uh, I'm just gonna quickly have a look online. One second. Clock is on, so I have to double check that on documentation. So clock is on pin six of the CPU. So let's just see what that's going on there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dear, that does not sound healthy at all. Uh, hmm. I wonder if my power supply is a bit funny. I know we're running it without that 12 volt, but I, I wouldn't have thought that was going to be an issue to be honest. Um, right, okay, well, maybe I need to run it on a different power supply. So, what have we learned about the screen typer? Well, it's a useful firework if you store it in a shed for 30 years. Uh, what happens now, I'm not quite sure. Um, I guess further investigation. I don't know. I don't want to give up on it, um, but I'm having difficulty. There's no schematics. That's the problem. And I'm sort of in the dark a bit. So I'm going to have to try and draw out a bit of the schematic on this uh, and try and do some further debug. I know I need to replace that capacitor anyway. I'm not quite sure what, <laughs> what, what uh, rating it's going to be um anyway yeah so further investigation is required i'm not going to give up on it and uh yeah if i've got to start pulling chips and testing them i can test all the ttl logic easy i've got that little eprom thing i can use for that uh the chips well i mean nothing's getting hot that's a good sign but yeah it's got his ass, ass hanging out the window so i'm not sure where we're going to go with it um but yeah it's going to go uh on the shelf for the time being whilst I try and figure out the, um, uh, do some more searches, see if I can find a schematic. If I can't, as I say, reverse engineer, that is a very long winded task uh, for probably not much gain. Uh, uh, you know, I, yeah, it's probably just dead. Uh, as for the monitor part, well, 
yeah i've got to i mean i don't want to blow my office up so if i did power that up uh i'm gonna to have to do that probably outside uh on the drive because if i do it in the garden it'll burn the grass uh if i do it in the office it will stink and um it's going to be quite frightening <laughs> anyway i'll see you next time cheers